Yeah, and what with what Wake Med calls a lot of crud circulating, there's a push from health officials for people to get the updated booster as those who have already experienced the pandemic new year are relying more on themselves to make the decisions on holiday gatherings. With vaccines and boosters available nationwide, the plan to ring in 2023 with others can come with hesitancy. It's kind of difficult because no one really wants to wear masks anymore. And with New Year's and everything, it feels very difficult to gauge what feels right. I think it's still a concern. I feel like I have done what I can, though, to stay safe, getting my boosters, getting updates on my vaccines. The looming threat of RSV, flu and COVID keeping healthcare workers on high alert as the demand for COVID vaccines wane and more people are hospitalized for COVID across the triangle. We're starting to see COVID deaths again. We had gotten to where those were relatively rare just because the number of patients with COVID was so low, um, but we're starting to see more of those. So our COVID numbers are definitely going up. Everybody's getting tired of all the vaccines, having to keep up with it. Um, but I do think the sickness is just, it really has just picked up worse and worse. That the people we're seeing here who are really sick are people who have not been vaccinated or who have not gotten the bivalent vaccine. But for those about to start the new year with a booster. I felt like I should have gotten one a while ago and I just haven't gotten around to it. It's a preventative measure worth a safe gathering, according to health officials. Societally, we're past the point where we're going to tell everybody, stay home, don't go out on New Year's Eve. We know people are going to do that. But I think you have to be thoughtful about your own personal risk assessment. Everyone who gets COVID on average infects multiple other people. So that just perpetuates the problem. So Dr. David Wall says now is the time to get the bivalent vaccine. As he says, it better protects us against the variants that are circulating than the original vaccine. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.